G'day guys, I'm Skylar Stardrift, just a dragon that plays video games, and welcome back to Let's Play Croc, Legend of the Gobos. In the last episode, we finished up the Ice Island and grabbed our second jigsaw, no, fourth jigsaw puzzle piece, sorry, after beating up Itzy the Ice Demon, the Guardian. And in this episode, we're going to be starting on the Desert Island with Lights Camel action. So, let's start drifting. There's a bonus area in this stage, but we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay, the game's going to pop us into some stuff right away. Welcome to the Desert Island. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> Hello, door. How are you today? <laughs> the problem with doing this is I don't have any crystals, and that could present problems. You see, I've done this a couple of times... Eh. Well, during tests, and I wasn't too good at it, so... Careful, careful. Red crystal, okay. And gobbo. Good work. That wasn't too hard. Did that on my first try. I wasn't expecting to do that on my first try. Quite pleased with myself. I mean, it's all going to go bonkers out here, isn't it? I'm going to hit one of those jumping dantinis or worse. And what I like to do is I just stand on the platform and tail attack them when they get too close. Okay. Let's grab you. And jump back. And... Nope. Okay. Oh, good. We made it. That that went much better than I expected it to. Okay. So the boxes have kind of like an... Egyptian sort of thing to them. In this island. Uh, we've got a gobbo in a cage. Whoops. That was close. I'm glad this platform stays up. And we now have a balloon. We don't want to... We almost grabbed it. Good job, Grub. Okay, I'm going to wait for this platform to respawn before jumping over. I probably could have made that, though. Alright. Platforms respawn. Well, I suppose it's one way to get up there, Croc. Not the way I intended for you to get up there, but I suppose it's one way to do it. Alright, so we got three crystals and a key. <laughs> three guesses as to what the key is for. And... Pop. Again, probably could have made that if I was quick enough, but I don't really want to push my luck, so... I got pretty lucky at the start as it is. <laughs> Climb up. And... Grab balloon. Takes us back over here. So we can easily grab the gobbo. And... That's all sorted. That platform came up a little bit sooner than I expected it to! Bugger. That's all I have to say. Bugger. <laughs> For lack of other word, bugger. <laughs> Almost grabbed the balloon again, which is not a good thing. And through the door. And in here should be our bonus area if we stomp, stomp, stomp. Well, I heard the spark. There's the sparkle effect. I think I may have done this bonus area before, but I can't actually remember. I'm going to go around you. And grab more hearts. No, I don't think I have done this bonus area, actually. Uh, if I ever did, it, um... It's... Not really sticking out of my brain, and I probably discovered it by accident. Just like I accidentally missed the frickin' crate there. Jeez. So those poison pools will hurt you, so I'm trying to avoid those as best as I can. 
Now, ah, the exit's up here. Cool. Nope, I don't think I've seen this one before. We're learning new things. I'm kind of glad we are. Okay, well, we can't smash these boxes, so... And that would be why. Because there is buttons over there. Huh? Okay. It's much easier to get back than going forward. <laughs> and we've got more crystals. Pretty sure one of these hut. Yep. One of them's got a gobbler, and the other one should have a colored crystal, I believe. Yep. There we go. I'm going for it. Yep. I went for it. Okay, the bonus store is on that side. So we've got to go that way. Interestingly, the bonus... the I keep calling it a bonus store. It's not a bonus store. It's a crystal door challenge. Interestingly, the crystal door challenge is not in the same room as the beanie gong in this level. And we have our camel. Except it's not a camel. It's an elephant. Elephant! Lights, elephant! Lights, elephant, death! <laughs> we have 35 lives. We should be okay. There we go. That's better. Now I can see where I'm running. Okay. Platform. 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 Switch. So these boxes, smash crates, should have our last gobbo and our last colored crystal. Got the colored crystal, so... I'm just gonna wait for you, buddy, so... You do your... You do your stuff and I'll do mine. Or I could drop into the... Mud pit. Great, now I've gotta hit the switch again. God damn it. <laughs> Please, let, let's not fail montage this. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. We've gotten somewhere. I'm standing on the edge of an elephant. We got it this time. Okay. For a minute there. So let me explain to you just really briefly as we make our way to the crystal door chat. Lange. Um, almost didn't make the platform. I've changed a little bit of my recording setup again. I've moved the microphone back to where it was before, but this time I placed on all things, a sock on the end of it. It's actually to keep the dust off whilst it's being stored. Okay, we have a ghost. We want to run like the blue blazes and beat him in a race. Oh my God, he's catching up. Oh God. Yep, I should have gone right. This is what I mean when you can't see much. Oh no! The, th the trouble with this ghost is if he gets the key, you can't get the gobbo. And we got it, just. I knew I should have gone right there. I knew it. Absolutely knew it. And that's basically going to be most of the crystal door challenges in the desert world. We're going to have to race against the ghost. All right. 3-2, Mud Pit Mania. Let's get started. And just in case you're wondering, yes, I really, really hate that ghost. Bane of my bloody existence, that guy. Um, we're actually going to want to go over here first, aren't we? Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Jeez, that was close. Concentration levels were high. Uh, yep, okay, I do remember this game properly. There is a key back there. <laughs> um, Croc, you were supposed to grab hold of the top of the monkey, but hello. <laughs> Well, there go all your crystals, buddy. Hold on. Camera. Camera. Thank you. Okay, well, we got the key now, so... Let's just go for it. Get rid of the mummy. Mummy. That was close. Okay, cool, we can still make that. <laughs> Had me worried there for a second, I thought, oh god, we're gonna need that, aren't we? Oh! Well, that was strange, Croc tried to grab hold of the bottom of the monkey bars. That's sort of weird. <laughs> um... I'm gonna try this one more time. If I can get up on the... If I can get up on the platform, thank you. And not jump off of it immediately. Okay, we got it this time. So those mummies are gonna kung fu kick us if I if we get too close to them, so we don't really want to get too close to them. Make a really funny noise too. And down the wall pipe. Do do do. Do do do. Okay. I think we're gonna wanna go back vi- Yep, we're gonna wanna go back this way. Before heading forward. Okay. And we're also gonna be seeing a lot more of this mechanic too, the light and dark mechanic in the, uh... Desert area. Which is... Not exactly my cup of tea, but I suppose since I don't drink tea anyway, it's not really a big problem, is it? Take it nice and slow over these stretchy platforms, and we have a rotating platform, yay! Whoop, 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 whoop! I hate thin platforms. Alright. Now we've got another warp pipe here, but we're going to want to go several ways first, I believe. Take out you. Can you hear that in the background? You probably can't hear it now, but... Um, where do we go? Do we just jump? Well... Ah, uh, tits. What was over here again? You know what, let's just go this way. And if we die, <laughs> then we die. <laughs> I keep hitting triangle and it does nothing. Because <laughs> I want to see my stats. And, uh, we've been in here so long that the music's decided it's gonna cut out. Was there a Dantini there before? I don't remember there being a Dantini there before. Um, we got the crystal over here. I think that's all that's this way, so... I'm gonna say I assume I killed that Dantini then. Um, what's over this way? And we have a whirlwind! Whee! <laughs> Whirlwinds are fun, but they can throw you in the mud pit, so just be careful using them. Can't see any other platforms, so down the warp pipe. Down, down, down. Yep, glad we chose this one. Apparently I'm not nearly close enough to that box. Alright, I'm... 
I was thinking about smashing this one, but I think I might just jump off of that onto these platforms over here. And do it this way. Sorry, Gobbo, can't rescue you yet. Need the key. The key's over here. And we got key, we got crystals. Well, since we missed the smash crate, we'll grab the gobble instead. And back onto the... Eh. Why did I even try that? Why did I even try that? That was doomed to failure from the start. Why did I... Mm. Sometimes you just do questionable things in a let's play, don't you? I don't know what I was thinking or why it was such a why I decided it was such a good idea. Okay, well we got three crystal three colored crystals and I believe four gobbos. Hmm. Yeah, four gobbos, three crystals. Alright. Down the warp pipe, down, down, down. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back this way. Towards the whirlwind. And down this wall pipe this time. Down, down, down. And we're dumped into water. Jellyfish. Jellyfish and electric gates. Glad I hit you there. Uh oh. Are we missing a are we missing a colored crystal? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm worried, guys. It looks like we're missing a colored crystal. Uh can we have thank you. Let's get out of here before that Dantini respawns. Okay. Oh, we got a gobber over here. Hey, we can actually kill the hammer head sharks. Okay. Oh, come on. I hit you there, buddy. You're dead. Can we? Thank you. I'm legitimately worried about that last crystal now. And I can't remember this stage, which doesn't help. Oh no. Well, I'm pretty sure we... Ugh. I'm pretty sure we haven't missed it. Hey, there's a heart back here. Okay, cool. I'll take that. So, similar to a level in Crash Bandicoot 3, I think. Or even Crash Bandicoot... I think it's actually Crash Bandicoot 2. Oh my god. Can you just climb up the freaking platforms, Croc? We have basically little jars of light. Or I'm going to assume that there's fireflies in there. Uh, I can't see. Okay. <laughs> and the trouble is, neither can you guys. And we have the last... You know what? I'm not even going to try. That heart can go screw itself. Let's just go race against the stupid ghost. Hey, what the? Oh no. <laughs> He's already got a good head start on me. Ah, oh, well. If, as so long as the ghost doesn't get the key, if the ghost gets the key, then I don't think you can win. Otherwise, though, you can keep retrying, so... That's always a good thing. I did the same thing! <laughs> oh my god, why am I making the same mistake? Ah, that's... Mm, frustrating. Okay. 
Concentration levels are through the roof right now. Why is he so fast? Get used to seeing those platforms too, those tiny little ones. Croc, climb up, please! Forget the crystals, man. Just run! Just run for it. He's on your tail, man. And you can't kill him. That's the problem. The ghost is immortal. You can't kill him. You have... You basically are forced to run. Well, of course he's immortal. He's a lemon ghost. Ah, oh, I hate this guy. Thank you. Got it! I'm glad I didn't turn! <laughs> I think when I first played this level, I made the silly mistake of turning there. And I found the gobbo, but not the key! Please tell me we keep the bloody key. Okay, we keep the key. That's fine. If we keep the key, I don't care. <laughs>